不是因为我学的很精彩，而是中国故事就很精彩。一四年到的中国，我一下飞机就觉得终于回家的感觉。我的目标是让更多的西方人去了解中国一下，因为我喜欢中国的文化，所以这是我的一个梦想来这里。Yeah, I'm a foreigner. I didn't grow up here. This is not my my birth home, but I feel like it's a city that welcomed me very, very easily. For me, I instantly felt at home in Hong Kong. 一台单反，一个背包，时而登上摩天大楼俯拍都市全景，时而又穿梭于街头巷陌捕捉小城风情。对于美国摄影师迈克尔·基斯特勒而言，旅港七年。探索和记录香港的每个角落已成为他的日常，寻找合适角度，等待刹那光影，按下快门的瞬间，也捕捉下这座城市独一无二的美。Very famous person that everyone should know in Hong Kong and out, Bruce Lee, and I've always been a fan of his movies. You can shoot from an angle, and then you're also able to get the Hong Kong density of the architecture. And if we're lucky, we might also be able to get. A taxi in the photo. So this, to me, is very iconically Hong Kong. So many elements. The colors of Hong Kong. Berkeley. Such an icon.、Yeah. The red taxi. So just this very small section really captures well, to me, the spirit of the city. 出生于美国明尼苏达州的明尼阿波利斯，在日本东京生活十年后，热爱东方文化的迈克尔携妻女来到中国香港定居，从事过银行业。当过大学老师，在此前的数年中，摄影只是迈克尔的日常爱好。初到香港，多元的城市人文景观令他着迷，于是他下定决心要记录下这座城市独特的美。而此后七年的全职摄影生涯也自此展开。This spot is you have the traditional temple, Manmo Temple. Behind it, all of the classic multicolored architecture of Hong Kong. This is another great example. Of a very unusual building, so I think the contrast between modern and more traditional Asian and Western is really highlighted in this neighborhood. 令人眼花缭乱的霓虹广告牌，极具标志性的双层电车和红色的士，反光的街头水洼、大厦玻璃幕墙和小店橱窗。不同于一些街头摄影师的黑白风格，迈克尔的作品更偏爱用明艳的色彩和丰富的光影来表现香港的活力与多元印象。International, diverse, exciting. I think the word that captures it best for me is vibrant. Generally speaking, people here are friendly, kind.、Um, Hong Kong is a very, very safe city. Different parts of the city, day or night, you don't have to worry about your safety. This is really important as well. 七年的时间不短不长，却足以让这位美国摄影师将香港视为自己的第二故乡。他走街串巷，对这里的一事一物、一街一景都熟稔于心。无论是遍布街区的展厅和艺廊，还是维港之畔新落成的地标博物馆，都让迈克尔对香港的艺术前景充满信心。The M Plus Museum opened in West Kowloon, and I've already been there three or four times. Absolutely love it. I think you have a lot of Hong Kong artists bring in influences from both Asia and Western countries into their work. But I think when you live in a place that has relationship of these two things, and not in a way that separates them, but in a way that integrates them, I think over time that's going to start to kind of seep or bleed into your work. 除却浓厚的艺术氛围，迈克尔也乐见近年香港被赋予的区域知识产权贸易中心的城市新定位。二零二一年九月，全球首家 NFT 实体画廊落地香港。这种被称为非同质化代币的新概念在香港落地生花，将对未来的全球艺术品交易、独立艺术家版权保护等领域起到变革性的影响。So I think it's a really, really interesting area. I think the first obvious benefit is additional exposure, and I think Hong Kong to me seems like such a logical, obvious place for this to develop further. Hong Kong is changing and progressing in the art world to be able to give art artists an additional platform to try something that's very technologically on the cutting edge, and then also to increase their exposure.、Um, I think it's very much a win-win. 创作不息，步履不停。
这位来自大洋彼岸的摄影师，终日穿梭于香港这座东西交汇、新旧互融的城市之中，用光影记录下这里的发展变迁，也让世界见证香港独特的美。